Hello everyone, welcome to our third tutorial on 3D printing design. Um, as you can see on the screen here, I have a hinge and that is our goal for today. We're going to, um, to work on how to make a proper hinge. And the hinge is most importantly is this middle part here. So it has two cylinders. Um, one is inside of this ring of cylinder. And you can see if I pull this one uh, out a little bit, you'll be able to see you have a ring um, of cylinder that is on the outside of a slightly thinner cylinder. So these, obviously, the, the ring and this cylinder here has a slight space in between so that the ring can rotate freely around this cylinder. So that's our goal for today. I'm going to move these two objects to the uh, to the background here as our reference. So we're going to start by creating uh, this uh, orange cylinder first. So I'm going to start with a uh, solid cylinder and I'm going to set it to one centimeter, so 10 millimeter on, uh, on each direction here. And I will create a second cylinder and this cylinder, um, it will be um, five millimeter thick. Now, the reason why I use five uh, millimeter is that I want the ring on the outside. Uh, it's slightly thinner than the ones that I have behind here. I want the ring here to be two millimeter uh, in thickness. Okay, so, it, uh, so it's a slightly thicker design. Um, so in order to have that two millimeter on uh, the outside with a half millimeter space in between the outer ring and the inner cylinder here, I need the inner cylinder to be uh, exactly five, uh, five millimeter thick. So I'm going to raise this to 10, uh, to, uh, 10 and uh, set this to the center. Um, here and that's our second part and our last part is another cylinder that is exactly the same as the bottom one so 10 millimeter on each side and I'm going to raise this to 30 and set this to 0 and so now all three are aligned together so I can group these three together. So now I have the middle part done. Okay. Now I'm going to create the ring on the outside. So to do that, I will have a second uh, cylinder system. And so for this cylinder, I'm going to set it to red. So to distinguish between these two different systems, uh, the thickness of this cylinder has to be exactly the same as the bottom and the top part here in order to have it done, have it uh, work properly. Um, and uh, the height, now the middle part has 19, uh, has 20 millimeter, but I need this ring to be able to freely move around this. So I'm going to give it a slight space in there. Um, this space needs to be quite small for the hinge to work properly. So I'm going to go only give each of the space to be a half millimeter space. And so uh, I'm going to set the height at 19 millimeter and raise this to a height of 10.5 millimeter. So in this case, once I superimpose these two things, um, this bottom will have a half millimeter space from the bottom cylinder and then also have a half millimeter space from the top part of this hinge. Um, and uh, oh actually before I raise this up I, I should uh, I should finish making the ring first. So I'm gonna actually cut the ring in the middle. So the ring in the middle I said the ring will have a two millimeter uh, thickness and so the the center uh, hole needs to be six millimeter wide and um, I'm going to uh, Put this in the middle and group these two together. So now we have our ring uh, 
and now I can raise this ring to a height of 10.5 millimeter and move this over to the origin and there. So I have superimposed this ring onto these two cylinder system and um, so now uh, the, once this is printed uh, this red cylinder ring will be able to freely uh, move uh, will rotate uh, basically uh, around this uh, cylinder to create a hinge and so to add a panel onto it uh, then we can create a really thin um, we can create a thin uh, board here um, and uh, let me do that quickly Let's actually do two millimeter thick um, and so to move over uh, you will need to actually joint this one together with that so we need a little joint uh, in between and this joint is going to have a thickness of two millimeter and a it won't need to be too wide and so it will be um, uh, three millimeter is enough and uh, a height of uh, 19 millimeter to match up with the outer ring here and um, so to do that um, I will uh, go here and raise it up to 10.5 uh, centimeter as uh, 10.5 millimeter now you can see that um, I have actually moved this uh, 9 millimeter from the from the origin here uh, which means that uh, about one millimeter of this is actually uh, superimposed um, into this um, outer cylinder ring and so this is how we're going to attach this and so to leave a one millimeter space in between the board and the hinge uh, I'm going to move this to 11 millimeter and so now you have this board this middle Part and this ring here and so these three shapes we can group them together and so that forms one side of the board okay and uh, for the other side of the board um, I'm going to create another uh, board but this time I'm going to use orange um, again it's going to be two millimeter thick and uh, and 40 millimeter tall and so I'm going to place this on this side of the cylinder also having one millimeter uh, space in between right uh, but I need to also joint this board with the top and the bottom cylinder so I need two little jointers uh, one here and one here so same thing we're going to create two that is um, two millimeter in thickness um, and uh, uh, it's gonna be three millimeter uh, wide and 10 millimeter high and so same thing I'm going to move this in here Okay, so it's at minus two so that it's uh, one millimeter goes into this cylinder and one millimeter goes into that board here. And I'm going to copy this. Um, so you can use the, the copy and then, uh, and then we're going to paste another that is exactly, oops, move the wrong object. Okay, so, um, There we go. So that piece. Now this piece, I have to raise it up. Um, Thirty. Oops, that's the wrong one. I have to raise it up by thirty millimeter, and uh, move it so that it is over uh, on the top here. So now we can join this center cylinder 
these two pieces of connector plus this board together, so four shapes, we're going to group them and so to create the other side of the hinge. So if I pull one side of the hinge over, you'll be able to see how this is constructed. Okay, so once these two are uh, put together, um, and you'll see a proper hinge uh, that's created. Okay, so that's how a hinge is created. All right, thank you for watching, and uh, hopefully we'll see you uh, in our next tutorial.